Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome, welcome to this time uh, which we can celebrate uh, the liturgy with you. Uh, today is, a, a, in one sense, for the Vincentian community, is a joyful day. Uh, Eric Sanchez, whom you might have seen uh, last week or the last several days, actually went back to Philadelphia and is being ordained a deacon at 10 a.m. in the uh, Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul. And so we ask for your prayers for him and join in the prayers that we have uh, and share with uh, a Lady of the Miraculous Medal, which we now say these Novena prayers. Uh, well, we're going to sing first. Immaculate Mary, your graces we sing. You reign now with splendor, with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. Your name is our power, your virtues our life. Your love is our comfort, your pleading our might. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray, pray for us to have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us to have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us to have recourse to you. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better or more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore. Grant, we beseech you, that we feel like humility. We may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. Memorare. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. Our Novena Prayer O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, we loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces we, we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. Together, 
You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us, then, a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart, which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode, where you are the Queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us, a sure sign of your affection for us, and a constant reminder of our duties towards you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us for recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us for recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us for recourse to you. Brothers and sisters, let us continue uh, in our liturgy uh, as we now place ourselves under the sign of our faith, the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, we now prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries as we acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the hope for our healing. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the mercy that we need. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the ways of forgiveness and reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, Grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was flowing with twelve yoke of oxen, he was following the twelve. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah and said, Please let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha led him and taking the yoke of oxen, a slaughter then he used the flowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then he led and followed Elijah as, he, as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you, O Lord. My allotted portion in my cup, you it is who hold fast my, my life. You are, you my, are my, my inheritance, inheritance O Lord. Lord. I bless the Lord who consoles me, even in the night my heart exhorts me. I say the Lord over before, ever before me with him 
and my way can I shall not be disturbed. You, you are, are my inheritance, O Lord. Lord. Therefore my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the neither world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You, you are, are my inheritance, O Lord. Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, to your ancestors, do not take a full oath, but make good to the law all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the, the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head. For you cannot make a single hair, hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Do we believe that? Do we believe that we will one day enter, hopefully, into the Lord's heart more fully? If we do, then like Elisha, we have to now let go of the things that yoke us, the things that perhaps bind us uh, with concerns and burdens. Not to say that they aren't important, but if they consume us, then they are not what is while. So if we believe that the Lord is our inheritance, that we do not need to be yoked again, as sometimes we can, then we hear this gospel in a very different way. Jesus is saying something that says rather profound to us this day. He says, first of all, you can't make vows that you're not going to keep. When you do speak, be simple. Say yes or no with the directions and the truth that you need to live. And second of all, third of all, he says, don't swear. Don't swear. If you believe that I am your inheritance, you don't need to swear by my name. You will live in my name. You will not just give protestations of your faith. You're going to show your faith. And it's going to be simple. Just like Elisha then did. And Elisha's family was very wealthy. But they gave it up. Twelve yoke of oxen. They were lucky most people to have one ox carrying it and plowing the fields. Regardless of where we are in stations of life, with what we have, our inheritance is the Lord. Our, we, we swear not Bible, but we live by the Lord. We offer what burdens us back to the Lord, and we ask the Blessed Mother this day to help us. And so we also ask the Lord to continue to bless Eric in his time, now accepting the yoke of service in the name of the Lord in the Vincentian community as a deacon first, and then ordained next year as a priest. So in gratitude, we pray for him. I pray also for all the uh, members of the Central Association of the Miraculous Metal who for many, many decades have helped this parish community. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray, brothers and sisters, especially for those most in need to be aware of not only the burdens that they carry, but to know that the Lord carries that with them. Let us pray for Pope Francis and for our bishops who, who bear the yoke of leadership in Jesus' name. 
that they continue to be faithful and living disciples of his word and his sacrament, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear yeah. our prayer. May we pray for all of our civil authorities, for those who, um, again, must deal with the, the complexities of our nation and do not galvanize the either one side or the other, but are called to actually serve all peoples in the name of justice and mercy and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. May we pray for those families who do not experience peace at this time because of death of loved ones, because of sickness, because of violence uh, and hatred that has maybe erupted. The need for reconciliation and peace and forgiveness may be there. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And may we pray too for, for all those within uh, whom we have known that have handed on their faith to us. Uh, I would like to pray in a special way for uh, our converts who have died on this day. For Charles Dark, uh, Dougherty, who died in 1902. For John Carroll, who died in 1947. For Arthur Deck Hamilton, who died in 1959. For Francis McCormick, who died in 1996. For Michael Mullen, who died in 2002. For Mike Mazurczyk, my classmate who died in 2009, and for Joseph Wright, who died in 2009, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And would, have, would you like to place in prayer on this also? We pray that the voices of many people requesting peace and justice and basically showing their concern against their racism will be listened by those in charge of the authority and to favor this request, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> we continue to pray for the sick and the needy in our family, our community, and to ask us to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And special prayers for Father Joseph's father, who still is in the hospital. We pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah. hear our prayer. We pray for those victims of racism, those who are uh, experiencing bullying, or those who are affected basically mentally or in their spirits. May God bless them and to provide for them healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we turn to you in hope and in, and in humility as we place all that concerns our hearts and our lives so that we will live your life in love once again and in joy. We do and pray this in his name, who is our brother and Messiah forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the blessing, glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Anthony, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant us to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new. 
and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we pray, uh, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for, for by your cross and resurrection you have, have set, set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have freed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and, and with him, him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And joining together in the prayer that Jesus taught us, we now say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The Lord has
has come in every moment of our hearts and our lives, our situations and relationships. And so, because the Lord is our inheritance, we behold then the Lamb of God. We behold Him who takes away the sins of this world. Blessed Lord, are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of St. Anthony of Padua, that we may persevere in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you have traced for us. And we, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a couple of announcements, uh, brothers and sisters. First and foremost, thank you very much for gathering with us. Uh, we will be uh, starting on Monday uh, once again with Masses over at the Center. Um, the Daily Mass starts at 7.30. And so, uh, unfortunately, we, we will stop this. But we don't know whether or not uh, down the road we might be quarantined again. Um, this is the new order, so to speak, for all of us. So please be healthy, be safe uh, in all that you do and all who you are with. Um, so thank you very much for joining us. I thank my confreres, and we certainly pray for Eric and all of your needs that have been surfaced in your hearts and in your lives and situations. So we want to continue uh, asking the Blessed Mother to protect us as we enter into this prayer for the pandemic in this time of pandemic for oh, the protection. And tomorrow we have communion. Oh, tomorrow we have communion in 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 your hands uh, with your cards. Please um, take the time to uh, prepare yourselves well for the reception of the Eucharist in your cards. So we will have our mass schedules at eight o'clock. 9.30 and 11 o'clock in the small church and by um, uh, hey, streaming. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Father Orlando, for inviting me. So let us pray. O Mary, you, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' name, by remaining steadfast in faith. A loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are attending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, so as to lead us to the cross, to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Under thy protection, we seek refuge, O Holy Mother of God, in our needs, despise not our petitions, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. May Almighty God bless and keep you always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
our Mass now is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you very much, folks. Yeah, okay.